instance, we're talking about family business, and you call yourself Christians, well, what not a better opportunity to come here tonight and tell you about the God of the Bible, the real Jesus. You got the faith, fully corrupt, messed up, watered down, love bug, hair, hair, Jesus. Then you got the Jesus of the Bible. Something that most of you wimpy, lukewarm, puke Christians don't want to have anything to do with. But the Bible's real clear. I won't call the cops. Go ahead and call the cops. I'll call them for you. Because you are being aggressive. That's verbally aggressive. Yeah, verbally aggressive. Oh, I got you. Jesus was very verbally aggressive when he told people about hell, when he told people they were lukewarm, they were separated from God. So if you've been a Christian for a while and you call yourself a Christian, well, what does the Bible say about these uh, messed up Christians that don't want to repent before God? Of a truth, I say unto you that he will make them ruler over all he has. But if that servant said in his heart, My Lord, the land is coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and maidens and eat and drink and be drunk. The Lord of that servant will come in that day looking not for him. This isn't Old Testament. This isn't Moses. This isn't Elijah. This is New Testament, Christian. That's right. And on that hour, when he is not aware, when you're smoking, when you're cussing, when you're a sipping saint, drinking, when you got your stupid Christian tattoos because you have no witness and you don't read your Bible, oh, hey man, check out this new tat, man. I got Isaiah tatted here, man. Look at this, this is awesome. You castrated, arrested, come on, messed up Christian. I can do all things through him. Yeah, Christ. that's how lame and pathetic your witness is. You gotta get a scab and card into your arm. Something's wrong with your Christianity, Christian. And the Lord hey, said the that, servant, I am preaching, you have a right to shut up. So do you. And the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him asunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. Amen. You keep being liberal, you keep putting up with all this filth and garbage that goes on in your whacked out churches, God's gonna beat the crap out of you. That's right. Right there, folks. Let's talk right. You're an unfaithful servant. Unfaithful. And God, when he comes back, sent his son Jesus, is gonna crash some of you Christians, if you don't start showing a little better discernment in your uh, Christianity. Hey, I got a question for you. Can I ask you? But he knew not that and did commit. No. Things worthy of strength shall be beaten with few stripes. For whosoever much is given, of him much is required. Listen, if you're a Christian, and you're born again, and you have a relationship with God, and you've been saved for five years, and you're still cussing, and you're still smoking, Jesus Christ is going to beat the crap out of you. Amen. There it is, folks. I'm judging you right now. One of the best misconceptions in the church. I bet the most of these flaming faggots in this city love a guy that doesn't judge. I don't respect demons, do you? You fake Christian. Who knew? Who knew? He just said faggot. Why do we 
we got a deal? Oh my gosh, I got a gay friend. God doesn't have any gay friends. If you're a homo, he was friends with all. He goes straight down. He was friends with all, bud. Oh no. He loved everybody. Oh no. No. Excuse me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't you come in and touch me. Oh, you ain't gonna shut us up. You don't touch us. I will shut you guys up. Go ahead and try it. Go ahead and try it. Go ahead and try it. Go ahead and try Whatever happened to teaching? Whatever happened to the teachers? Now, you know what? Catholic high school, Catholic high school. What about you? What about you? You are so. 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 Devil, sick devil, and he thinks you, you are the way, right, huh? I never did put my oh, hands on you, man. Don't touch me. Oh. You ain't nobody. God, God no wipe you out. Church, you sick old sure. pervert. No the <laughs> Bible says if you are a friend of the world, you are an enemy to God. Oh, he talks too. If you are a friend of the world, you are an enemy to God. Holy cow. The Bible Revelation 3.16, you're either hot or you're cold. If you're lukewarm, God will spew you out of his mouth. Come in, preach. It says in Psalm 711 that God is angry at the wicked every day. That's right. God is angry. Shake your head. That's the Bible. That's the truth. Wake up, Christians. If you're lukewarm, you will be spewed out of God's mouth. Man, preach. When are you going to wake up? When are you going to step away from the world and be separated? It's time to get desperately excited and passionate Amen. about God, the God of the Bible. I like him better than you. It's time to know the Bible. It's time to understand God. It's time to love God and hate what God hates. It's time to read the Bible and understand where God hates. Amen. It says to go into the whole world and preach the gospel. Where are you? Are you between four walls and a church? You laugh at us when we say we don't go to church. But well, where are you? Are you between four walls? Are you in a concert supporting something for your own flesh? Wake up! Your own flesh! It's your own flesh desire! But it says to go into the whole world and say, preach the gospel! Preach the gospel! It says, who will stand up against me? Again, for the workers of iniquity. Who will stand up against the workers of iniquity? What is a worker of iniquity? A man that works for his own sin. When are you going to stand up against that for God? What? You're looking at this crowd? All the whores, the bag enablers, and the absolutely worthless. I gotta say, the Bible says judgment begins in the house of God. What will become of those who obey the gospel? I'll tell you what, that judgment has started today. The judgment of God has started today. When concerned Christians came out here to warn you to turn. From your sin, to turn from your lukewarm, pathetic version of Christianity. Amen. Your general Jesus is going to come back in flaming fire to take vengeance on all of those who know not God and obey not the gospel. You obey the gospel, and I'm here to tell you the axe is laid to the 
to give you a rebuke and tell you to stop sleeping with that whore of a girlfriend. I don't care with that pastor who's too friendly to tell you to stop living in sin has to say. What does God have to say? What does the Bible have to say? God already gave you his word. But you Jesus hates I don't you. I want God's word. I want my pastor's word. I want these false teachers' word. Because God's word says you're in opposition. That you're at odds with the living God. No Why aren't you angry? Why aren't you angry? Why aren't you angry? You're a pathetic Christian. You're pathetic. I'm walking through that city. No, 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 first of all, you shut your mouth, stand up, and listen up. A man of God is speaking into your life, and you can care less. You got coffee to drink, concerts to go to, and all you care about is my anger? Where's your anger? They're chopping up babies, and you're worried about my anger? Come on, preach. Shut on, you sinners. They're chopping up babies, and you're going to church dressed like a whore? Shame on you, acting like you know who God is. God gave you his word. God gave you commandments. And the Bible says, and we know that we know him when we obey his commandments. You people are godly. You don't care about the commandments of God. You don't care what God thinks. It's all about you and what you got going on. Well, shame on you. Shame on you, Dad. Shame on you. I'm not touching your head. You're probably a masterpiece. Shame on you. That's right. Continue on to hell. These people don't care about your soul. They're not going to tell you what God thinks. They're going to feed your flesh. You gluttonous pigs. That's what you want. You want to feed your flesh. That's all you care about is the carnal things. You don't understand spiritual wisdom because you're carnally minded. Shame on you. Wicked for first generation. The Bible says he that endures to the end. I can't tell if you guys are saints or sinners. I thought this was supposed to be a Christian concert. Isn't this supposed to be a Christian concert? Then we go in here and praise God. If you like the message you're hearing today, yeah, here's the messenger. I used to be a wicked sinner just like you guys. I used to be up here teaching in this wicked in this wicked venue all the time. I used to be on Jam in 95.5. I used to be in the in the clubs. I used to be in a church playing club music. How come? How, how come you guys aren't different? The Bible says to be separate from the world. How come you guys aren't different? You guys are dressed like you're going to a Jay Z concert. The women are still wearing their little mini skirts, trying to get some action in, in a Christian, a Christian venue, a Christian concert. Come on. The Bible says, choose this day who you will serve. That's right. You guys are paying money for an artist who claims it's okay as a Christian to curse. Shame on you. He says it's okay to curse. It's a good day to be an American, right? It's a good day for you to go to hell if you don't repent. It's a good day for that. No, you can't bless me, sorry. You tried, buddy. Too late. Lose some weight. Oh, you guys are wicked. You guys are wicked. You're lukewarm. And you know what Jesus said he'll do to you? You know what Jesus said he'll do to the lukewarm church? Do you know what Jesus said he will do to the lukewarm church? Come on, Christian, tell me. You guys are a bunch of Christians. Tell me what Jesus is going to do to the lukewarm on Judgment Day. He's going to say, depart from me. He cursed. You worker of iniquity, I never knew you. Bye bye. Adios, amigo. He cast you into outer darkness. Is that where you want to go? You want to pay your money for an artist who sits here and travels on a huge, nice tour bus? Give him more money. Make him more rich, huh? No gospel, huh? 
Yeah, you see him with you. Keep paying your money. Keep paying your money. Give me some Bible. I bet you know his songs more than you know Bible, don't you? Yeah, you do. You guys know all the lyrics to any many of songs, but you don't know Bible. It's not Bible. I love the talk Bible. You're Christian. You don't know God. Riley, thank you. Good old pennies you get off of these stupid bitches. Why is the gospel message free? Why is it free? Why is the message free? You're not a Christian. God didn't charge, did he? You're not a Christian. God didn't charge to preach the gospel. God didn't charge to preach the gospel, did he? That's what it's about, right? Isn't this a gospel event tonight? But we're charging people to come worship God, supposedly? Yeah, I know you're not. Because you're, 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 you're secular. You're secular. You're secular. In bed with Eve Gordon. Come on, let's pray. Let's, let's clap and have a relationship with Eve Gordon. Maybe we can have some drinks. Why do you like secular? MTV, I need to get my music award. Right, humble yourself before God. That's what I'm saying. Amen. Humble yourself. You're the most arrogant guy here. I'm arrogant. I'm really arrogant. Humble yourself. You're still in sin. That's a problem. That's why you don't like what we're talking about. You're still in sin. That's a problem. You're still in sin. Not at all, brother. You're still in sin. We're not brothers. We're not brothers. This don't make us brothers. Let's get that straight. No, Jesus, brothers. No, you're not in Jesus. You're not in Jesus. What the hell I know? Why is it free? Tell me why this, why it's not free. I'm not a Jesus because it's not free. Why is it free? Well, it's a business, right? Like the church. It's a business, Tom. You said it. It's a business. I know the truth. What's what's the truth? I know the truth. I've been DJ for a uh, talk box and all these little artists. I've been on that. I've been on stage for I've been on stage for first infantry. Okay, I know what it is. It's a business. Everybody wants to get a little record deal on make some money. It's a job. It's exactly it's a job. It's a job. You said it. You said it. It's a job. It's a job. It's a job. This ain't a job. This is a message. What do you say, Mark 16, 15? What is the job? The job, the message. A job. Pastor and job. What? Pastor's a job, right? A pastor. Yeah, yeah. Pastor's a job. Pastor's a job. Pastor's a job. No, it shouldn't be. No, it's not a job. He doesn't get paid. He doesn't get paid by the government. He shouldn't. He shouldn't. No. How does he live? How does he have a home? How does he live? Go get a real job. Go get a real job. Go get a real job. Yeah, I'm not part of us. Look, go 